Go. <laughs> this is the backwards. I don't want to do this. I don't think you can. Am I supposed to pull up now? Okay, what's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> well, first off, the we've had was lots on manual of focus. <laughs> we've had lots of problems this morning. Um, so we had problems with the battery last night. The charge controller was reading at zero, so we went ahead, and it was it was pretty cold here last night. What it was like in the sixties, fifties. Yeah. So we went ahead and just turned off all of our power for the rest of the night, so we didn't have to wake up in the middle of the night and do it. <clears throat> um, but woke up this morning and Micah tried to kind of troubleshoot and figure out what the problem was with that and I'll let you. So we probably have two different problems but uh, the first was is fixed now. Um, ran out of battery last night and when I checked it last it said we were at 30% battery which theoretically with these lithium batteries we have uh, both connected up should be 60 amp hours of power and we were not running a blender or a uh, <laughs> large scale operation or a vacuum <laughs> or a vacuum or anything we just run the fridge and the lights and then occasionally the, uh, the water sink. So not really that big of a demand on power, but by within about two hours, it was down to zero, 100% zero, like lights turned off. So that's a problem, and I'm not <laughs> sure why, you know, what's going on. Either the fridge is literally that bad, and it's pulling just insane amount of amps per hour just, just to do the crap job that it does, which wouldn't surprise me or um, the batteries are, one of them is either completely defective or they're both just not living up to the hype. So uh, that's a problem. But the real issue we were having um, is nothing was getting charged. So when we woke up this morning, we tried to turn things back on, nothing had been charged, which, you know, we've had light on our panels for the last two, three, four hours now. So I was like, well, this is, this is an issue. So I took things off of the charge controller, nothing, you know, reinstalled them, nothing seemed to work. So I climbed up on top. I was like, well, maybe it blew the fuse that sits between the panels and the charge controller. And it, the fuse looked fine, but I, I just disconnected the fuse entirely and then hooked, hooked everything back in without the fuse and uh, came back around some things were a little fuzzy but now everything seems to be working as it should so apparently the fuse blew. so is there no fuse up there now there's no fuse right now so i oh, might you actually didn't tell me that <laughs> once once I, I i get reasonably charged i may cover the middle solar panel to back off the amps but i just don't it's a 30 amp fuse i just don't see do we not have any more 30 amp fuses? No, I just never expected to get blown ever. So here's our setup down here. Batteries, inverter, fuse box, master control switch, and the charge controller. So the way this works is solar panels come in on this line right here. They go into the charge controller which basically, you know, there's variation in the amount of um, amps and voltage that comes through those wires throughout the day. And we have a 12 volt system, so you can't be sending 20, 24 volts into our 12 volt system. So what this charge control controller does is basically converts it, smooths it out, makes it even for the, for the battery so it doesn't hurt the battery. And then we have wires going on to the battery positive and negative and then wires from the battery go to the inverter for when we need to plug into a normal house type of outlet and then the wires also go to our fuse box over here which runs all of our 12 volt appliances and 12 volt things which is pretty much everything and then there's this master control switch that you can just throw you know turn that off and on 
and everything turns off and on. So basically this charge controller is what gives me all the information that I need. There's no errors right now. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, did you do that? I don't even know what that means. This means the air temperature around it is 24 degrees Celsius. If I can convert that to Fahrenheit, I don't know. Uh, this means the draw from the battery to the load is zero amp hours. This means from the solar panel to the battery is five amp hours, or maybe just five amps. No, this is the amps. So no amps come in here. 12 volt, 12.7 12 volts is what the battery is reading. 81% charge. 11.6 amps currently coming in from solar panel to battery. And 17.2 volts is the solar panel reading. So that is our status update.